um, the country environmental analysis is uh, um, discusses the underlying challenges that Indonesia faces in reaching uh, more sustainable development in um, environment and natural resource management. Um, the report isn't a state of the environment report, but it picks a few issues that um, are fundamental underlying challenges like policy challenges, upstream issues that um, Indonesia needs to work on uh, to reach more sustainability. And it also discusses how the World Bank can be involved in uh, helping institu in Indonesian institutions um, achieve a more sustainable path. Well, adaptation to climate change and uh, mitigation of uh, greenhouse gases is a, is a big challenge for Indonesia. Um, but again, those that climate change lens really is just exposes some of the underlying challenges that Indonesia has faced for a long time in the forestry sector, land use, rapid change of land use, rapid deforestation. All of those challenges come to the come to the front when you start talking about climate change. Similar in the energy sector. Um, overuse of, of fossil fuels, burning of coal, uh, transportation, congestion, all of these issues that we see in the urban environment are really fundamentally uh, affected by the policy environment, the price of fuel, and the incentives that people face. So this report doesn't really focus on air pollution or downstream outcomes, it tries to focus on the upstream policy issues that result in these downstream um, problems, environmental problems. So um, in terms of uh, challenges, there, there is the other one is in environmental governance, I think. Um, not just the policy environment, but who is charged with implementing rules and regulations on environment? Do they have the capacity to do that? What about the citizens? Do they have the uh, sort of the constituency around environmental issues to demand better services from their government? I think these are all, um, I guess, medium term challenges for Indonesia. I think the report doesn't focus on that a lot, but Indonesia has a good uh, legal framework, uh, has just passed a new environment law, new electricity law, new solid waste management law. The, um, the environmental, the legal framework, I think, is, is reasonably good. Um, probably there's a need for more capacity to implement those laws effectively, and of course the governance challenge of enforcement. How do you get the laws to be enforced fairly across sectors, um, in different regions, at the local level? Um, that's a bit of a challenge, I think, in Indonesia. Um, short to medium term, uh, again, focusing on climate change, there are a lot of uh, opportunities in the area of climate change for, for Indonesia on the policy side, the, the, the fuel pricing, um, forestry. There are a lot of climate finance uh, opportunities coming for Indonesia. There are reduced emissions from deforestation is a big uh, the financing opportunity for forest carbon markets that should come out of the um, the international negotiations on climate change. That would be a, an opportunity for Indonesia to use climate finance to help shift to a different path, to sort of pay down the cost of a, of a transition to a, a more sustainable um, path. Similarly, in uh, in the energy world, there the carbon markets again and, and payments for. Um, reducing emissions can help Indonesia shift to a different path. And the point of that shift is really to benefit Indonesians and to benefit um, Indonesia in the long term to, to create more efficient use of fuel, not just to reduce emissions just for some foreign agenda, but to reduce emissions because of the health effects on Indonesians and the efficiency of the economy, the competitiveness of Indonesia's products.